All right, welcome back, True Seeker. It is February 25th, the 56th day of the year. I was waiting to see what the mainstream was going to come with today in regards to coronavirus and its announcement from the World Health Organization, abbreviated WHO, that's telling the world to get ready, get ready, get prepared for a global pandemic. And the reason this matters the 56th day of the year is again because coronavirus has gematria 56 and remember on october 18th event 201 simulated a coronavirus outbreak that killed 65 million worldwide 65 million the word pandemic equals 65 but from that simulation october 18th to patient zero for coronavirus, which was December 12th, 2019, was 56 days later. We've been talking about this a lot, so I was waiting to see what they were going to do today on the 56th day of the year. Now they say, get ready for pandemic. Again, look it up. Event 201, October 18th. 56 days later, patient zero. The simulation kills 65 million people worldwide from coronavirus, which is the common cold. So obviously a deadlier version of the common cold. But just realize, number games are being played, and this is a real conspiracy. Not a conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy fact. That's the only realm of conspiracy I've ever delved into. I'm not into conspiracy theories. I'm into exposing the actual conspiracies that are taking place on this planet, such as the super rich and powerful having an event like Event 201, simulating a coronavirus outbreak, and then that being the headline on January 21st. And of course, coronavirus outbreak equals 121, which is why we got that headline January 21st. What also equals 121 is Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And who sponsored Event 201? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And where was the first patient found in the U.S. on January 21st? just north of Seattle, where the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's headquartered. Before I go any further with this, because there's a lot to say, I just want to make sure people are aware of what's also circulating in the news today. And that is that the government, which is actively getting social media platforms to take down people such as myself, now they're going beyond censorship. Now they are seeking ways to financially punish people like me. This is in the headlines today. They're going after financial punishments for people like me who they say put out false information. The conspiracy theorists who put out false information. Because even though that's not what I am, that's what I get labeled as. And the government is out to destroy people that are speaking against it. Again, this country is not what we were told it was when we were growing up in the public school system, when we were getting indoctrinated more than educated. It's not about freedom of speech anymore. It's about sit down and shut up and follow orders. That's what it's about in America these days. And most people are, they're not free, they're not brave, they're enslaved and they're cowardly. Anyhow, be aware. They're going after something called Section 230, which grants people freedom of speech on the internet. They want to get rid of it. They're saying there's too much disinformation online and something needs to be done about it. And of course, there is a lot of disinformation online, no doubt about it. But for the government to act like it doesn't work in the realm of disinformation is just ludicrous. This is the same government that sold us wars that we're still involved in that told us they would last months and we would find weapons of mass destruction. Well, we never found weapons of mass destruction and they didn't last just months. They've been going on for nearly 20 years costing a lot of lives and resources, destroying the world, helping create a nation of depressed youth who are now heroin addicts, same heroin that's been funneled over into this country from those wars because we have our troops over there guarding the poppy fields. Anyhow, for another time is that discussion, let's talk about coronavirus again. As a warning to people who follow me, there's going to be a lot of redundancy here because I am very redundant. I make sure that people know the key things that need to be known, but there's also going to be a good amount of new information here as well. So, again, 56th day of the year, I was waiting to see what they were going to do today, and the World Health Organization says, get ready for a global pandemic for 
coronavirus. And again, this being done on the 56th day of the year where coronavirus is 56. And again, pandemic equals 65, the reflection, where again, in event 201, they simulated 65 million people being killed. And by the way, just for the record, the acronym WHO for the World Health Organization has the same gematria as virus, which is 46. Don't forget the other word that sums to 46 that's crucial, chaos. Because the people that control these institutions, such as WHO, they are of the most powerful Masonic orders in the world. And the Masonic motto is order out of chaos. Create the problem, provide the solution. That's what they've done all throughout history. That's how these people operate. Create a big problem so they can come in with their planned solution. That's exactly what this is all about. Okay, now for some redundant stuff. Event 201 was October 18th, 2019. From that day to patient zero, December 12th, 56 days later, coronavirus 56. Event 201 56. Remember, October 18th leaves 74 days left in the year. The first coronavirus patient was found in Snohomish County in the U.S. Snohomish County 74, like Bill and Melinda Gates. Again, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with Johns Hopkins University, funded Event 201. And again, January 21st, when they found the first patient just north of Seattle in Snohomish County, That was just outside of Bill and Melinda Gates' headquarters. And notice Snohomish County in reverse is 70, so is coronavirus. If you use the master numerology of coronavirus, it is 56 in the most pure cipher. What's different where it's 74 is just the letter V. V is the 22nd letter. In numerology, 22 is the master builder number. You have the option with the numbers 11 and 22 to reduce them or not. So if you don't reduce V to 4, the numerology of 22 is 2 plus 2 is 4. If you leave it as 22, coronavirus is 74 as well. And again, very special number. Things like Masonic, Occult, Killing, Gematria, English, they're all 74. Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into words. Again, this code of letters and numbers comes from Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, which states God created the world with letters, numbers, and words. If you really want to understand this, do yourself a favor, read my book. It's all explained from the ground floor up. It's written for a beginner and for someone who's followed my work for years. Everyone will learn a lot from it. But anyway, event 201, perfectly synced up with patient zero. Don't forget the 2019 military world games began in Wuhan on what day? October 18th, the same day. The day leaving 74 days left in the year. And this riddle has been made clear by the Dean Koontz novel, The Eyes of Darkness, which was written in 1981 and predicted a Wuhan coronavirus outbreak that was a military conspiracy done out of a lab in Wuhan. These headlines were big about Dean Koontz. He was called a prophet on February 13th, the 44th day of the year. Dean Koontz 44, prophet 44, military 44, as in military conspiracy. They said on this date, February 13th, other headlines that day, which we covered, there was a big spike in coronavirus patients and deaths. And, um, of course, Dean Koontz, how old is he right now when this is happening? Dean Koontz is 74 years old right now. 74, that number that they love. In his book, it's called Wuhan 400, the military conspiracy virus that's meant to plague the world. Wuhan 400 equals 201 like event 201 and the chinese new year january 25th the year of the rat like how rats sp spread disease illness plague virus from dean Koontz's july 9th birthday his 74th birthday to the start of the year of the rat was 201 days like event 201 i finally think i figured out why they called this event 201 and that's going to be some new information in this video Again, I'm skipping over some things here just because I've covered this. I've done independent videos with more information, but just realize, you know, when the headlines say that this is a coincidence, the mainstream media has programmed people to replace the word conspiracy with coincidence. 
programming. Okay. So, let me close some windows just because the computer's breathing heavy here. Okay. So here's some new information. And again, remember things like how Kobe Bryant, he was supposedly in a battle with a pharmaceutical company just prior to his death. And now he's buried in Corona Del Mar, right? And the day of the memorial, his memorial yesterday, February 24th, the market had one of its worst days in all time history. And Kobe Bryant was involved in some major market deals just before his death. He made a $6 million investment that turned into $200 million. Anyway, there's some serious parallels here between Kobe and the coronavirus. And what people need to understand is this is how the new world order operates. Kobe's death is a big ritual, just like the coronavirus outbreak is a big ritual. And they're happening at the same moment in history. And in Hebrew, the word COVID has the same meaning as Kobe. Anyone can do this. Go to, I'll just do it right now so people can see. Go to Google and type in English to Hebrew and type in COVID and then copy the Hebrew value, control C. By the way, the control C guy just died at age 74. Special number to these people. Hebrew to English, and now plug in the Hebrew value, and you'll see that it's Kobe. It's the same thing. It's just like words like Messiah and Moshiach. They have the same meaning in Hebrew. So, anyhow, COVID-19, Kobe Bryant buried in Corona Del Mar. Just notice the word COVID's 26, like virus, like China, like Bryant, who died on January 26th. Again, if you read my book, chapter one's about why are there 26 letters in the English alphabet. I even talk about Kobe Bryant in 26 in that chapter. 26, very special number. It's the God number. These people are playing God over our lives. And... Kobe fell to fourth in scoring the day before he died. LeBron passed him in his hometown of Philly, which everyone should have blinked an eye at. But uh, Kobe fell to fourth in scoring, like the four-letter name of God, Tetragrammaton, which is 26. So anyway, there's a lot more to say about this, but just realize it's not an accident. These people are playing God over our lives. Kobe Bryant grew up in Italy. Remember, there was supposedly a big coronavirus outbreak in Italy, which is what caused the market to fall on Kobe Bryant's Memorial Day. So, coming back to this, there's headlines like this this year, January 13th, 2020. That's when this story is from. Pope Francis central to apocalypse prophecy as end of earth reference revealed. And Kobe Bryant's death was foreshadowed in a cartoon from Comedy Central called End of Days, right? So with regards to this coming out January 13th, Apocalypse is 113, right? 113. And look at Kobe Bryant and an Apocalypse in the four base ciphers. The exact same with the alphabetic order. The exact same with the alphabetic order and rules of numerology. The exact same with the reverse alphabetic order. The exact same, or excuse me, the only one where they're not the exact same is the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. And that one, Apocalypse, is 49 like Revelation. Kobe Bryant's 58 like Biblical. Remember, Kobe Bryant died on January 26th. And on the Julian calendar, January 26th is January 13th. Like the day this headline came out, 113. Kobe Bryant, a month before his death, was in the headlines for directing traffic after a bad accident in Los Angeles. That was on his 113th day of his age. He dies the next month on his 157th day of his age. At age 41, Tetragrammaton is 58, like Kobe Bryant, the four-letter name of God. He dies the day after falling to fourth in scoring. Now, here's the cartoon with the Kobe Bryant death, end of days. It came out on November 16th, 16 slash 11. The King James Bible was published in the year 1611. LeBron King James passed Kobe in points scored the day before in Philly. The real King James died at age 58. So 
realize this is no accident that this cartoon comes out on a date that has biblical significance in terms of this number code it's called end of days and now kobe bryant's becoming part of the coronavirus story where we're getting headlines about um let me just scroll down i know i put them in here well i thought i did you know things like this it's post-apocalyptic how coronavirus has altered day-to-day -day life so th there's a lot of that around if you do some web searches revelation end of days it's just everywhere and realize the media loves to scare people they love to instill fear in our lives because it makes us submit it makes us look for someone to save us like a government a big brother and the thing is i put out this work so that people have awareness i don't want you to be afraid from listening to what i'm sharing i want people to have awareness of what's being done and who's responsible because again, we do live in a world where there's things like the Georgia Guidestones, which will turn 44 years old in 2024. Think about that in light of the Kobe Bryant Memorial on 224. But the reason they'll turn 44 years old is important is because they're like 19 feet, three inches tall, or I forget if they're 19 meters and a third tall. It's one of the two. I think it's 19 feet, three inches tall, like 193, the 44th prime. Georgia equals 44. The word kill is 44, so is execution. And the first rule on those massive stone pillars in Georgia is to maintain the Earth's population at 500 million. And they were placed there when the Earth's population was 5 billion. So that would have been maintaining the Earth at 10% of the current population. So in other words, getting rid of 90% of the people at the time. Now the Earth's population said to be over 7 billion. So now it would be getting rid of over 13 out of 14 people. And those things do exist there. Somebody did put them there on March 22nd, 1980. Freemason numbers, Skull and Bones numbers. And, you know, you got to think about that. You live in a world ruled by very sick psychopaths who are killers, who've come to power through murder and killing and treachery. It's how they rule over all of us. So it is about being aware. And I've been aware of these things for a long time. And that's what gave me enough information and knowledge to speak out and share with other people and help wake up more people. And that's my purpose. I don't want anyone to have fear or, you know, be worried about the end of days. In all likelihood, the most the people who should be most afraid are the people who don't have access to even get information like this. I mean, the people who are going to be the most targeted are going to be third world people, first of all. That's who they're going to get rid of first, people in the third world. So if you're watching this in America, you know, you'll probably be at the end of the pecking order. But still, I mean, to think that there could be a lot of people on the chopping, chopping block in this world and starting in the third world, we in a place of privilege like America, even though this is a slave state, we still have some privilege, you know, such as access to the things like what we're doing right now. It's our job, it's our responsibility to help raise awareness. Because we do have the power to save lives. So anyway, to me it's not about being fearful. It's about having knowledge to help stop an agenda and save lives and bring this, you know, agenda to a screeching halt. I absolutely know it can be done because if it couldn't, they wouldn't be censoring channels like mine. All of you who say nothing can be done, you don't get it. You know, if nothing could be done, they wouldn't have deleted my channel 19 times. They're worried that something is going to happen to them. They're worried that they're going to be exposed. That's why they're now going after new means to sue people like me. And realize, I mean, even though I don't put out misinformation, I'm still living in their world. If they file a lawsuit against me and then I end up in their courts and their legal system with their rules that they make up, of course they're going to win on that. That's what goes on in this world. That's why there's so many people living in cages who never did anything wrong. They broke some bullshit rule that the government made up. Oh, you can't smoke that plant from the earth. Go to prison for the next 20 years. Pay all these fines. And then the brain dead sit there and think those are just rules. Anyway, the same brain dead people will think it's just when a person like me is getting sued in a few years for doing a video like this. Unless it's all stopped. Anyhow, moving on. The riddles. Remember, this is the cartoon End of Days where Kobe blows up in the helicopter, just like there's the Black Mamba movie, which ends with a helicopter blowing up. 
And um, have you actually looked at Kobe Bryant's Black Mamba logo? Take a look at that. Doesn't this look like the front of a helicopter right here, this centerpiece with the helicopter tail and then the end propeller? And then look at this. Aren't these like the chopper blades going across? Black Mamba logo. This is Kobe Bryant's logo right here. Look, he even has it on his helicopter. This is Kobe Bryant's helicopter. It looks nothing like the one that crashed. But, um, yeah, I've been talking a lot about all the predictive programming for Kobe, and I just noticed this, how his logo looks like a helicopter. I was like, wow. Talk about predictive programming. Remember, he died in Calabasas. Calabasas equals 59, like Black Mamba. Like Accident, like Fresh Prince. Anyway. Check this out. We've already talked about this, but Kobe Bryant. Again, Kobe Bryant, Apocalypse. They're both 41 and 157, right? Kobe died on the Pope's 41st day of his age. And he died on his 157th day of his own age. And again, the Julian calendar is 13 days behind the Gregorian calendar. So January 26th, the day Kobe died, was January 13th, 113, like Apocalypse. On the old calendar. Pope Francis is 58, like Kobe Bryant, like Biblical. Remember, the real King James, who has the Bible named after him, died unexpectedly at age 58. Freemasonry, Rosicrucian. He was a Freemason and a Rosicrucian. Both 58. Los Angeles Lakers, 58. Secret Society, 58. Again, the cartoon with Kobe came out on 1611. November 16th, King James Bible published in 1611. Revelation, the concluding book of the Bible, which names Philadelphia in Revelation 3-7, the letter written to the Church of Philadelphia about the synagogue of Satan. Speaking of the synagogue of Satan, Kobe's uh, helicopter in the middle of his Black Mamba logo. This part kind of looks like an upside-down cross, doesn't it? Which is a satanic symbol. Kobe, Mr. 666, the number of the beast, which is also taught about in Revelation. Just like the name Philadelphia. Kobe's 666th game. He scores 81. He has the 666 workout. His off-season workout has been called the 666 program. Again, Kobe's from Philly. Revelation. End of days. Apocalypse. See how it all comes together? Helicopter 666. Revelation 13, 18, about the person with wisdom knows how to calculate the number of the beast. Now, Kobe died in L.A. L is the 12th letter. A is the first. L12, A1, 12, 1, 1, 2, 1. Revelation 121. Remember what day the coronavirus outbreak headlines began? January 21st, 121. Coronavirus outbreak, 121. The first case found in the U.S., just north of Seattle, the headquarters of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, 121, who hosted event 201, which simulated a coronavirus outbreak. And we're getting to this new information about 201. I'm building up to it. But to come back up to this, um, this story up at the top, Pope Francis central to apocalypse prophecy as end of earth reference revealed. And this goes back to St. Malachi, who said at the time of his prediction that 112 popes forward, which would end up being the 266th pope, which is Pope Francis, he said that would be the time of this great cataclysm in the world. And you know what? Just to remind, let's just think about all the things that have happened to start 2020. Seems like so much has already happened, and here we are just at the end of the second month of the year. The beginning of the year started with rumors of World War III, remember? Rumors of World War III, rumors of war, biblical concept, you know? Then rumors of a deadly viral outbreak, coronavirus. And it's just been a year full of death, as predicted at the beginning of the year. Said it'd be a bad year for celebrities, 2020, because death is 20. Now you have the deadly virus, you have these sports superstars. Anyhow, all of this is by the numbers. So, coming back, 
Pope Francis is the 266th Pope. The prediction is about, again, this cataclysm during the time of the 266th Pope. From Vanessa Bryant's birthday to Kobe's death was 266 days later. From her birthday, May 5th to January 26th, 266 days. It was also 38 weeks like death. Pope Francis is the 266th Pope. He's the first publicly Jesuit Pope. And let's not forget the Jesuit motto, their abbreviation in Latin is IHS. Those words in Latin, which I can't pronounce, equal 266 and 122. Pope Francis is 122. The 266th Pope. Again, if you don't think they do things by the numbers, I can't help you. The popular name for the Jesuits is the Jesuit order, which equals 54, like Kobe Bean Bryant's 54. When Bill Gates did his first Netflix documentary that came out at the end of last year, predicting a coronavirus outbreak, um, that episode was put out November 7th, which is the day leaving 54 days left in the year. Remember the word sun, S-U-N is 54. The corona, you know, the rays that come off the sun, coronavirus, Kobe Bean Bryant. Remember, Kobe Bryant has the exact same gematria as solar cycle in all four base ciphers. The Catholic Church gave us the Gregorian calendar, which we're on. Now notice Pope Francis, his birth name, Jorge Mario Bergoglio. With the alphabetic order, as we'll get to, with the alphabetic order, his name equals 201. Pope Francis, event 201, all these 201 things. There's a cipher where you multiply the alphabetic order times 6. So 201 times 6 is 1206, which is a lot like the date Kobe died. January 26th. And the man who made the prediction about 112 popes later, by the way, the Jesuits operate in 112 countries, but the pope, who, or not the pope, the saint who made the prediction about 112 popes later was Saint Malachi. Again, that's what this headline's about up here. This story is about Saint Malachi. Pope Francis central to apocalypse prophecy. That's by Saint Malachi and St. Malachi 126 like the day Kobe died remember that's um, a special verse in the Bible Genesis 126 that's where mankind is made right and that's what they're creating the fear about that mankind's going to be wiped off the face of the earth so again 112 popes later the Jesuits operate in 112 countries St. Malachi, who made the prediction about 112 popes later, died on November 2nd, 11 slash 2. And because this is so long ago, it's easy that history like this could have been changed. I mean, who of us can really verify that that's the day he died? But no doubt the reason they report this in the history books, that the man who made this prediction died on 11 slash 2, is for the very obvious reason. By the way, that's the same day in history the Belfour Declaration was written, November 2nd, 1917, 11 slash 2, about creating the Zionist nation of Israel. That was part of the promise if the U.S. joined World War I to fight against Germany. That way they were able to persuade the Jewish people who controlled the papers to get behind it. And then they started printing in the papers that Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany was the Antichrist to persuade the Christian nation to fight against Germany. But Zionist is 112, Judaism is 112. The document to create the Zionist nation of Israel was drafted on 11-2. So these numbers used ritualistically in many ways. November 2nd, the day he died, was also the day leaving 59 days left in the year, right? Black Mamba's 59 and 211, alphabetic order, reverse alphabetic order. So you see how Kobe factors into this? These headlines coming at the same time. Black Mamba 59 to 11. And that date, November 2nd, can be written 2 slash 11. Kobe grew up in Italy, you know. He grew up in Italy, where the Vatican's located. K 
Calabasas, 59. Revelation, 59. Pope Francis, 59. You see what IMDB did with the um, score for end of days? 5.9? Think that's an accident? We've been pointing this out for years about the ratings IMDB gives, you know, the, the films and the movies and the shows and how they always connect to the riddle. Revelation. This is the same cartoon that predicted the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash and death. Okay. I think I made the point there. Don't forget Kobe Bryant died 211 days before upcoming Kobe Bryant Day in LA, August 24th, 2020. And don't forget that on February 11th, 211, the front man for the group Lady Smith Black Mambazo died, which we covered on February 11th. Lady Smith Black Mambazo, dead on 211. So again, the day St. Malachi died, connected to this prophecy of Pope Francis, which is synced up with Kobe's death. All the numbers are right there. And again, Kobe Bryant grew up in Italy. Italy's coronavirus outbreak over the weekend, supposed coronavirus outbreak, led to the collapse of markets across the world on the day of Kobe Bryant's memorial. So headlines right here. Coronavirus was the deadly plague predicted by the Bible. Claims end of world is new. Coronavirus is a biblical sign of the apocalypse foretold by Book of Revelation. Scores of Christian conspiracy theorists have claimed online. And, uh, you know, in light of bringing this all together with a, uh, a basketball star, look at this. Book of Revelation, when you write it out that way, you see how Book of Revelation is 185 and 85? You see that? Basketball, 85, 185. See the 68? Italy, 68. Look at Wuhan. Actually, look at Italy and Wuhan. You see how they have overlap in three of the four ciphers and that same cipher basketball is 22? None of this is an accident. It's how it's all well-planned and being executed. They do everything by the numbers. They bring together riddles through the numbers. They bring, you know, a larger-than-life basketball star to bring all this, you know, pain and sorrow to his fans at the same time that there's all these headlines of death and war and illness. It's the Six Psychopaths Master Plan. Kobe Bryant and daughter Gianna laid to rest in Corona Del Mar. Remember, Corona Del Mar equals 135 like Kobe being Bryant. And for another one, Central Intelligence Agency. And who's the leader of the Central Intelligence Agency? Gina Cherry Haspel, whose name equals 135. Kobe dead 135 days from Kanye West's birthday with a crash right by Kanye West's house. Kanye West, part of the predictive programming in the Black Mamba film, where the helicopter blows up at the end. Okay, so we talked about the military world games earlier. Again, the coronavirus simulation, event 201, was the same day that the Wuhan world military games took place. Again, the coronavirus simulation that kills 65 million the same day as the military games in Wuhan in 2019, which was October 18th. And look at where the first military world games were. They were in Rome, like the Vatican, like how Kobe's from Italy. Sports. And then think about how from the first event in 95 to 2019 was 24 years later. What number is Kobe? 24. Coronavirus... 24, Kobe, 24 hours in a day. The sun equals 24. And just remember, solar cycle, Kobe Bryant. Exact same in all four base ciphers. Exact same in all four. 
And that 58 is a big one because Gregorian, again, we're on the Gregorian calendar, which comes from the Catholic Church. Gregorian's 58, calendar's 58, zodiac's 58. Okay. Corona, a term that relates to the sun. So again, Pope Francis, his name is 201, like event 201, like how in the Dean Koontz novel, which predicted all of this in 1981. And again, I mean, what are the odds that his novel came out in 1981? Because we know that's a big number with Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bean Bryant, 81, scored 81 points in his 666th game. Again, for people who haven't watched all the work I've done, Kobe died 243 days after Jerry West's 81st birthday. Jerry West is the logo of the NBA. They're considering making Kobe Bryant the logo of the NBA. 135, he's buried in Corona Del Mar 135, the thing we just said about Kanye West. Kawhi Leonard won the first ever NBA All-Star Award named after Kobe Bryant. The All-Star game was 135 days from Kawhi Leonard's birthday. 54, a lot of 54s with Kobe. He got passed by LeBron in points scored the day prior, January 25th, 25-1, like 251, the 54th prime. LeBron scored the 54th points of that game to pass Kobe. And remember, Wilt Chamberlain, the cartoon Chamberlain Heights, which predicts Kobe Bryant's death, that cartoon Chamberlain Heights came out just, or excuse me, Wilt Chamberlain died days before the 54th NBA season began. And from the day Wilt Chamberlain died to the day the Lakers won the finals, which had Kobe on the team, was 251 days later, the 54th prime. When Kobe was accused of rape, July 1st, 2003, that was a span of 54 days from his August 23rd birthday. The name of the spa where he supposedly raped the woman equals 251. So again, just repetitive rituals. United States of America is 243 years old while all this is happening. Kobe died five months and four days into his age. His daughter's name, Gianna Bryant's 54. The list goes on. Jesuit orders, 54. But event 201, what foreshadowed all this, connects to the Pope's name, connects to Dean Koontz's 1981 novel, The Virus in It is Wuhan 400. That's a military conspiracy. Again, we talked about how the military world games were on the day leaving 74 days left in the year. Same day, the coronavirus event 201 simulation took place. Again, the day leaving 74 days left in the year. Dean Koontz is 74 years old. Kobe Bryant died during the 74th NBA season. He was Boule. He was born the year the Boulay was 74 years old. So just realize what we're living out is a well-planned event that is being executed against the populace. You know, yesterday people's retirement accounts took a hit. In the date of the Kobe Bryant Memorial. And again, they really said the markets tanked mostly because of what happened in Italy, which is where the Vatican is and where Kobe Bryant grew up. Italy, 2268. Wuhan, 2268. Basketball, 2268. Market, 68. We're talking about the market in 68 for a long time. And with regards to the entire prediction being about 112 popes later and the Jesuits operating in 112 countries, Mathematics is 112. So, earlier I showed how... Um, I'll show you something about mathematics. Whoops, let me type right. Mathematics is 112, 68, 185. Remember how we just showed how basketball is 185, Book of Revelations 185. Okay. So we talked about Kobe's logo, a helicopter... And with regards to this all being, you know, synced up with, or the helicopter crashing and this being synced up with the crash of the economy and creating a global pandemic, just think about it. Crash, market crash. That's how these people operate. Crash is another 22 word to go with your basketball. Let me see what else is in crash. 
22. 86 is actually interesting because remember Kobe took off from John Wayne Airport, which is 86. John Wayne Airport's 86. And um, when that cartoon came out on Comedy Central, End of Days, November 16th, 2016, that was Kobe's 86th day of his age. And the market crashed at the same time the memorial was going on. And Memorial's 86. And uh, what's that little rat that does his um, nightly show? Jimmy Kimmel, who does his show from the Masonic Temple in Hollywood. His full name's 86. His full name's also 300 and, or excuse me, he's born on the 317th day of the year, like how the full name of the memorial equaled 317. The market crashes while the memorial's going on. Just think about it, you guys. This is a designed operation. Same people who own your sports teams. They own your media. They're the biggest investors in the market. They're the ones that have enough clout to pull the strings like they do. And, and again, coronavirus is causing the markets to collapse on the 24th. Markets 24. Stock markets 155 like coronavirus. Let's see what the market did today. The market tomorrow, because tomorrow is the date with 68 numerology. And tomorrow's the anniversary of the bombing of the World Trade Center. Get it? That was a mockery. They blamed it on the blind sheik, 93. 1993, February 26th. You write out 226 as a word, it equals 93 too. Relates to it relates to the planet Saturn. Planet is 226 in Jewish gematria. Saturn's 93 with the alphabetic order. Speaking of Kobe Bryant, you know, he's a Nike athlete. Nike has the swoosh, which is a ring of Saturn. And uh, if you missed it yesterday at Kobe's memorial, they had the Oregon athlete speak. Where Nike's headquartered. And... Um, Yesterday, she became the first college basketball player, male or female, to have 2,000 points, 1,000 assists, 1,000 rebounds. And all the headlines wrote 2K, 1K, 1K. 2-1-1, like Black Mamba 211. She talked about that Mamba mentality. From the memorial to the championship for women is 41 days later, like Kobe Bryant, like Memorial. And then after the Oregon player spoke, then UConn's coach spoke. Again, it's all ritual. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> her birthday, that, that girl from Oregon, her birthday's December 6th. 126, another 126. Like Kobe died on 126. The women's championship is in New Orleans, which is 126 and 54, like Gianna Bryant. <laughs> the Oregon player yesterday said she studied Gianna Bryant's game film. I mean, seriously, as a college athlete with uh, professionals training you, you're taking the time to watch Kobe Bryant's little daughter play basketball. That's where you're getting, I mean... If you think any of these people who spoke a word of truth at the memorial yesterday, you know, you better check yourself. They were reading some scripts. No way has she been watching the game film of Gianna Bryant. Just a laughable statement. Anyway, back on topic. All rituals by the numbers. And with regards to all these 68s, don't forget that the first Wuhan case was out of Seattle, Washington which is another 68, where the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's headquartered. And, um, you know, don't forget the construction firm that built the World Trade Centers, Magnus and Clemenkic Associates, they're headquartered out of Seattle. That matters because World Trade Center construction began in 68, the same year 911 was made the National Emergency Dialing Code, the same year George W. Bush graduated from Yale and Skull and Bones, the same year 2001 A Space Odyssey came out. That was all part of the planning of 9-11. Again, these people plan their rituals decades in advance. And the word terror is 68. Last year on 9-11, one of the big stories to remember 9-11 was the woman who survived after the planes hit and she was on the 68th floor. Same stuff year after year. That's how they rule the world with terror. From Bush's birthday every year, July 6th to September 11th is a span of 68 days. 68. By the way, if you're interested in um, going to Seattle with me to uh, bring awareness, you know, make a sign, you know, sport a shirt, 
I am planning to go to Seattle. I'm just trying to figure out the right time to do it. I know if the weather's better, which is it's hard to do this time of year in Seattle, find a decent weather day because almost all days are cold and wet. I know if the weather's a little bit better, people will show up. So I'm trying to scout out a decent day weather-wise, which is the hard thing to do up here, where maybe people will be willing to show up in protest outside the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I'm going to print out a bunch of little pamphlets and, um, you know, we can hand them out to people who... Uh, who want to listen because there is a lot to expose about what's going on here and a lot of it does have to do with Bill Gates. Again, Bill Gates did the two Netflix documentaries before this happened, one of which was called Pandemic. And um, again, when you have the numbers, you can prove what's being done. So you can prove that all of this is not coincidence. It's not an accident. It's a well-executed plan. Let me see. Let me see if there's any more. I got to sneak in here. Oh, yeah. I think we talked about Brian and Virus. On uh, the day Kobe died, it was reported on the day that Kobe Bryant died. Coronavirus death toll rises to 80 as of January 26th. 80 from the virus. Bryant, 80 and 26. Again, every single coronavirus headline I've seen... And we've covered a lot already, and we're not going to cover them all in this video, but we're, we're, re we're reviewing the most important things. Every single thing I have seen has been news by the numbers. You know, the day of the Super Bowl, they had um, a coronavirus outbreak story connecting San Francisco, who was in the Super Bowl. I'd have to go back and... Somehow they connected it to... Um, oh, I know what it was. It was like San Francisco and Florida where the Super Bowl was. But just every single thing they keep putting out is just... It's so obvious that it's propaganda, that it's made up, that it's contrived by this code. On the day of the Chinese New Year, the year of the rat, they said 38 cases of coronavirus. 38 new cases. And um, let me see if I can make that bigger. Can you read that? It's a little bit small. But there are 38 confirmed cases of the Wuhan coronavirus in 13 places outside of mainland China. This is from January 25th, the day of the Chinese New Year. And, you know, Bill Gates is doing the pandemic documentary. Pandemic with the alphabetic order 65. Like how in the coronavirus event 201 simulation, they say 65 million people are killed. But with the alphabetic order and rules of numerology, it's 38. So, pandemic. 65, 38. 151 is the 36 prime. I mean, you can look for all these numbers. They probably are coding them here and there. But uh, again, the reason that the simulation for event 201 was 65 million is no doubt right here. Just like how today on the 56th day of the year, the headline is World Health Organization says to prepare for pandemic from coronavirus outbreak on the 56th day of the year. And remember, coronavirus is 142, like year of the rats. 142. Oh, look at that. Year of the Rats also 65 like pandemic. I was missing that all this time. See how they do it? See how they do it. And then they got it synced up with the Pope and they got, you know, the biblical prophecies that they're comparing it to in Christianity 65. Christianity is also, now that I think about it, Christianity is also 155 like coronavirus. Remember, before there was government, there was religion. These are the things that have always been able to, these are the things that have always been used to control the masses. If you look at the, the, the foundation of society's programming, like at the, the, the foundation of it, you know, more paramount than even government is religion for most people. Their religious teachings, their religious indoctrination, and then on top of that is government and obedience and all the programming they get from the media and all their years in public school. And um, for a lot of people, that's pretty much their only two layers of thought. And then for us, who can see through it, you know, we rose above it and said, wait a minute, somebody's trying to control me for their own benefit, for their own purpose. I got my own mind, my own independent mind. I can think and see through these lies that are being shoved down my throat. Okay, so February 7th, the 38th day of the year, what we call death day. There were a lot of celebrity deaths that day. They had to tell us that 86 people died that day. You know, 86th, a number 
associated with death and killing, 86th to get rid of, Hiroshima on August 6th, et cetera, et cetera. And um, this is the one I wanted. On that day, we got the death of Chinese Dr. Li Wenliang, the whistleblower for coronavirus. And from his birthday, October 12th, to his supposed death, well, I should say his supposed birthday to his supposed death, was 118 days later. And death is 38 with the alphabetic order and 118 in Jewish gematria. See, these numbers come together a lot. And again, this whole time we've been talking about the word pandemic because Bill Gates, he did the documentary Pandemic, predicting the coronavirus outbreak. And the media wants us to believe it was a coincidence. And then his former company, Microsoft, in 2019 put out a video game called a plague tale innocence i mean what are the odds a video game company makes a video about a have you ever heard of anything like this a video i mean there's decades of video games made have you ever heard of a video game about a plague outbreak i mean and again just think about the parallel between viruses and computers i don't even just say anymore do i virus and computer Remember, virus is 46, like who is 46, like Microsoft is 46. Microsoft's also 118, like death. And um, again, the, the motto is order out of chaos. There's actually a lot of overlap with um, chaos and virus. Let's look at that, these two terms. Virus 89, chaos 89. Chaos 46, virus 46. Virus 26, chaos 26. COVID 19. COVID 26, 19. Chaos 26, 19. See what they're doing? Same numbers again and again. And I did a longer video on this. There's actually quite a bit here. Just um, looking at how the video game was synced up. By the way, Patient Zero, December 12th, was on Bill Gates' 46th day of his age, Mr. Microsoft. Video game was called A Plague's Tale Innocence. That word innocence has the 46 in it. A Plague Tale's 38, like pandemic. So. Yeah, there, there's a lot here. Again, you can go back and watch the older videos I did. Just don't forget things like this. The coronavirus outbreak headlines... We're January 21st, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation 121, Coronavirus Outbreak 121, January 21st, Revelation 121. Okay. We've covered a lot up to this point. And don't forget that after Seattle, they said the next case was in Chicago. And remember, Chicago... Where did I put it at? What, did I not put Chicago on here? What in the world is going on? What? Oh, there it is. Chicago's 46 too. Chicago's 46 and 37 like virus. So. And oh yeah, in light of all this chaos co encoding, uh, Wuhan coronavirus, which it's often referred to, it's got the 222 and 78. And check out Order Out of Chaos, the Masonic motto, 22278. And on February 22nd, 2 slash 22, that's when they told you there were 142 new cases in South Korea. Coronavirus 142, year of the rat 142. And then that's when they said that the outbreak was happening in Italy, which caused the market to crash. Okay. Face mask is 59, the 17th prime. Look at these headlines. Wuhan Corona outbreak. Coronavirus outbreak kills 17 in China. Kill is 17, and then at the same time that headline's being made, then they get the update, face masks are made mandatory in Wuhan. All this at the same time. Again, just perfect rituals and numbers. And I, I tried calling this gentleman the other day. You know what? Let's Why not try again? I'll try again. I, I called it three times. Nobody ever picked up the phone. There's no voicemail. It just rings forever. Hold on. Let's just do it. Why not? Dr. Trevor Bedford. Um, Fred Hutchinson. Let's see. 
He works for Fred Hutchinson, which is in Seattle, just down the street. And you know what? Before I call him, I'll just show you what it was about this guy. So he did. He got he got media attention because he wrote a paper denouncing conspiracy theorists who are spreading false information about the coronavirus. He says this is spread by bats or some other animal. There's no conspiracy. It's just a natural outbreak. Anyway, he works for Fred Hutchinson, which is just down the street from Bill and Melinda Gates in Seattle. It's just right off Mercer Street, right next to Interstate 5. Fred Hutchinson, 74, like Bill and Melinda Gates, like Snohomish County, like coronavirus when you use the master numerology, like how Event 201 was on the day leaving 74 days left in the year, which simulated the coronavirus outbreak, which again was 56 days before patient zero. It's also the day the military world games were in Wuhan. It's also how old Dean Koontz is, who predicted all of this. And this guy, Trevor Bedford, he criticizes a document that was put out that he says is poor research that has enabled the conspiracy theorists. The document that he goes after is the Bio RXIV paper, which equals 74. Also, when you run it in reverse, it's 70, like coronavirus, like Snohomish County. And this is the guy, Trevor Bedford, whose name is 199, the 46th prime, like virus, like Dean Koontz, like the book that predicts it all, the eyes of darkness like Microsoft, like Chaos. So to me, it looks like it might be the perfect agent. Um, so let me see if I can pull up his number here real quick. I remember that the number that's on his website is not correct. I'll call it and we'll get the front desk. It's 206667, but then he has some different ending. But here, I'll call and they'll give it to us again. Or you know what? I think I actually wrote it down in my notes here. One second, I think I have it written down. This is it. This is his number. 206-667-4180. All right, let's see. Two zero six 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 seven four one eight zero. Okay. See if he picks up. Last time, no one would pick up. All right, I just, I, I know better. It, it rings forever. It rings for like five minutes before it finally says, this Verizon customer, blah, blah, blah. So you know what? Let's just, I'll call the front desk lady and see if I can leave a message with her and explain that um, he never picks up his phone. So I'll, I'll relay the message to her. Then at, at least one person in this building will know what's up. Whoa. What in the world? Maybe they changed their number because they've been getting too many calls. What's up, man? Oh, whoops, I thought I switched over the line. Huh. Hmm. This number used to work. Or wait, 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 wait. I'm tripping. That was the fax number. Where? Oh, I see what they did. They took down the number that was up here that was the non-fax number. He must have been getting too many phone calls. So that's what it is. They removed the phone number. I see what they did. Okay. Hmm. Here, well, let's try something else anyway. I do feel like calling this guy since he wrote this paper about conspiracy theorists. Here, let me take this call first. What's up, man? Hey, 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 hey what's up, Zach? Well, I'm trying to make a phone call. What's up? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get you a quick point about Kobe. This, this just came out today. When Kobe was in the 8th grade, that's when he came back from Italy, right? 
Right. He said he was 13 years old. And he was in the eighth grade. Right. In his year, he wrote, um, how about the Lakers? Your friend Kobe Bryant, number 24. That was in 1992. Okay. So it's just crazy that they try to throw this out there. So in the, so in 1992, he wrote about how about those Lakers, and he put the number 24. I see. I see. Yeah, it's all planned. And, and plus, he was in the eighth grade. Right. And then when he got to the Lakers, he wore number eight. So I right. just thought that was interesting. They throwing all this Kobe stuff at us right now. Right. Yeah. That's how they do it. So I, I, so I want you. I want you to get that post and get that post so people can see that about, about that yearbook. So people can see that yearbook picture. Okay. Send me a text message of it. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. All right. That's right, it. All right, let me let me see if I can get a hold of this guy, this conspiracy denouncer. Thank you for calling the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. Please stay on the line, and someone will be with you shortly. Uh oh. Last time I got right through. Maybe I this is a patient related call. Please press 1 for the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. For human resources, please press 2 or stay on the line for the next available receptionist. If you're an employee and would like the inclement weather hotline number, please press 3. Well, I don't know how long we have to wait on hold here. Let me check in with the chat while we're waiting. Well, I don't know Fred about... Hutch. Hello? Hello, Fred Hutch. Send me a direct your call. Perfect. I've been trying to get a hold of Trevor Bedford, and um, he's not responding to email or phone calls. Okay. Um, Is he, he expecting your call or email? Well, I, he, he, he should be aware of who I am if he, he read my email, but um, maybe I can... Could, could I just leave you a, a short piece of information? Maybe you can write it down and hand deliver it to him? Operator, um, we don't, we don't do that. I can try and get you through to somebody else in this department see if they can assist you. Well, it's important. It's 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 for Trevor Bedford. Is there anybody who works in his department or works with him that you could connect That's you to? That's what I just said I was gonna do, sir. I said I'm gonna try and find someone to transfer you to in his department and see if they can assist. Okay, you. okay. go ahead. I'm sorry, I, I wasn't you listening. Please hold. Okay, thank you. Hi, this is Michelle from Fred Hutch. Hi, Michelle, do you work with uh, Trevor Bedford? I do not. Okay, the operator was going to try to connect me to somebody who works in his department, and I found that he's very hard to get a hold of. I haven't been able to reach him by phone, and I've wrote an, an email. Um, do you know who he is? Uh, I do not. Um, I, do, I haven't met him before. So I don't think I should be able to help you connect. Is okay. there a way for you to contact the operator? 
Well, I, the operator thought that connecting me to you would would get me to um, someone who, who knows him. That's what she thought she was doing. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I've never worked with Trevor, unfortunately, so I wouldn't be able to help you. Do you know if he even really exists? I am sure he exists. He's an active faculty member um, within our division. Okay. Um... Huh, nobody seems to know who he is and there's no way to get a hold of him and he doesn't respond to emails. Do you mind if I just tell you something that'll take 30 seconds? Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if that would help though because I wouldn't be able to contact him. Did you try, do you have his email address? I do have his email address, he doesn't respond to it. Okay, did you try like emailing him multiple times? I did. Okay, and they, did they try to connect you to his number? Yeah, and I noticed in recent days his number's actually been removed from his um, contact page. It used to be up there, now just the fax number's there in his email, but he got rid of his phone number that was there about four or five days ago. Oh, interesting. Okay. So. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know how to help you, because I haven't worked with him before, so I don't think I would be able to assist. Okay. Well, I appreciate your help. You take care. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Well, we must be having an impact because there's a reason that his phone number was taken down. So if he is a real person, maybe he is feeling the pressure. You know what? I, I don't really want to bother them at Fred Hutch because they're not the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He, he works for them and wrote the thing that got attention. But let's call the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation because pretty much everyone in their building should um, should know what's going on. So... Let's just try it out and see what happens. Thank you for calling the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Due to the high volume of calls, it is best to use the Contact Us page at www.gatesfoundation.org. If you wish to leave a message, please include your name and email address. For more information about our work, please visit our website at gatesfoundation.org. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Thank you. Oh, what? Disconnected. They probably have my number on some sort of list. All right. I, I've already tried to call the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and um, I wonder if my number is on some sort of list because it just disconnected. Anyway, that's too bad. Okay, I tried. You guys want to try? You guys have the information too. 206 709 3100. Anyway, this whole coronavirus thing is by the numbers. Um, you know, you have this guy on YouTube who's gotten a lot of attention in the time of uh, coronavirus. And I'm on the fence about if he's actually trying to help out or spread more fear. But his name's Paul Cottrell, which has very similar gematria to coronavirus. It's the exact same two out of the four ciphers. Dr. Paul Cottrell's also 201, like event 201, in his um, videos where he's talking about coronavirus, he's sporting Ivy League schools, and of course it is the Ivy League schools that educate the people that mostly conspire against us, not saying that everyone that goes there is part of it, but um, hey, hold on, what, what was the 151 I saw? What was it? What was the 151 I saw earlier? Man, I forgot what it was. Oh, pandemic is 151. Because he was real caught up on this. When I had him come on my show, he was all caught up on the 151. He thinks... um. That's right. He thinks something huge is going to happen on June 4th, 2020, Dr. Paul Cottrell with regards to coronavirus. And isn't it interesting that that's the starting days of the NBA Finals, June 4th, 2020, in light of uh, all the Kobe Bryant sinks? Caller? Hey, Zach. What's up, man? Hey, uh, real quick, about the, this whole Kobe thing, uh, about the episode, that end, what was it called, End of Days? Uh huh. Um, the wrestler I was telling you about that's that faced uh, Roman Reigns, the the wrestler from Kansas City. Right. He, he has a wrestling move that's uh, his finishing move is called End of Days, 
and he's got another move that's called Deep Six. Well, and what's his name? Ba Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin, okay. Okay. And his, his birthday is 13 slash 9, like Freemasonry as well. Ah, huh, perfect. So, All right, I'll have to look into that. Yeah, I just got a little nugget in there for you. All right, thanks, Michael. Appreciate it, man. No problem. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so anyway, it's not an accident that today the World Health Organization is telling you on the 56th day of the year to prepare for pandemic. Again, coronavirus 56, the event 201 simulation simulated a coronavirus outbreak, and then 56 days later, December 12th, was patient zero. They simulated the virus killing 65 million because pandemic equals 65. And um, what was the other one? Wuhan coronavirus? Gotta have our numbers straight. Wuhan, wait, I spelled it wrong. Wuhan coronavirus, what was that other one? I forget what it was. Too many things to keep straight. Pandemic is 65 though, 65 million and um, Oh, Year of the Rat, that's right. Year of the Rat is 65 as well. How this whole thing, coronavirus and Year of the Rat are both 142. So. It's all news by the numbers. And um, you gotta ask yourself, if it's spreading all over the world, why wouldn't it be spreading in the US? You know? We had our first patient there January 21st. And, and think about that. We we had our first, it was like China had all the patients and then we had a patient and then they started finding patients in other parts of the world. How could it be that it's spread all over the place in these other countries, but it hasn't spread here? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sure, eventually we'll get to that point, but uh, I'm sure on the 65th day of the year, which is nine days from today. So what's that? It's a leap year. So this year ends up. So the month will end in, so that's March 5th, right? Is that right? Yep, March 5th will be the 65th day of the year. I'm sure they'll have, you know, and now that I think about that, March 5th, like 3-5, China's 35. What is it, Plague? Or is there some other one I'm thinking of? No, but China and uh, Pandemic and Year of the Rat. So... Should I have a story just like this one on the 65th day of the year? Anyway, we'll wrap it up, True Seeker. I might make a few more videos today. There's a number of other things to talk about. Another rapper's dead. You got a new NFL star sporting the Star of David because he says his nickname is Jew. <laughs> his name is Judy. Jew Judy sports the Star of David. LeBron James, $33 million lawsuits. And, and you know what, since we were talking about Kobe, yesterday on Kobe's memorial, this uh, Dallas area rapper was killed. Look at how the mainstream media puts out a picture of him in Lakers gear. He was killed the day of the, the uh, Kobe Bryant memorial, killed in Dallas. Dallas won one three and 41 like Kobe Bryant. Last rapper killed was killed 24 days after Kobe died. Anyway. We'll leave it there, True Seeker. I will, um, I'll get this, uh, I'll get this image up that, um, was just sent to me. The caller who pointed out the thing about Kobe's 1992 yearbook. I'll share that image. He sent it to me. I'll get that up on gematriaeffect.news. Again, just, um, one last thing before we go. If you're not using my website, Again, it is gematriaeffect.news, no .com at the end, .news. On this site, you got access to my ebook, calculator, contact information. Again, uh, if Derek's Gematria calculator is ever down, you got the same type of thing right here. You know, same functionality. Click on the number to see the number relationships. It'll tell you if it's prime or not. 113 30th prime, so. And uh, one other thing. For those of you guys who haven't signed up yet, freetofindtruth.com. Again, it is the social media platform for truth seekers. Free to use. None of your information is collected. It's not like spy book, Facebook. It's just the place for truth seekers. What's up, caller? Hey, Pat. Uh, I got the Bill and Melinda against uh, on 
on the line to talk to them. You got the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on the line? Yes. Okay. Are they on right now? Yep. Oh, she just turned up like when I did that. Damn. <laughs> well. Yeah, but like I mean, they they hanged up on me. I have like a second number. At first, when I told them, like, can you hold on for a second? I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, she said, uh, yeah, sure. And then she hanged up right away. And I called with my second number and quickly merged the numbers. And when I was speaking to you, I guess she heard that and just hanged up. You know? They're crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, man. Appreciate it. All right, buddy. All right, take care. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this website. Again, I'm paying the bill for this website. It does cost money, but I pay the bill. Don't worry. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm using the money that comes through for my Patreon to, um, to host this website. And again, if you're someone right now who's getting frustrated with YouTube because you're posting a comment on there and it's disappearing and you're like, man, I just wrote three paragraphs. Now I just wasted my time. Instead of wasting your time posting on Google platforms, which are censoring truth, post it on freetofindtruth.com. Again, that's the whole reason I built this website, because of all the censorship going on. And then the other thing about this website is the hope is it'll help people find others who live in their community so that they can network, so they can make friends. You know, imagine if a group of people in LA had networked and built a community on here during the time of the whole Kobe Bryant memorial. You know, a group of them could have went down to the stadium, brought this knowledge. And that is the goal, to get more people inspired, working together, sharing information. And um, people notified me that the privacy statement had glitched and stopped working on here. The web development team actually just texted me back right now and said it's fixed. So if you were worried about that, it's now back up. That, that was just an, an error. It wasn't like we got rid of the privacy policy. Again, all of your information is safe on here. Share as much information as you're comfortable with, but nobody's collecting. It's not like that. So, what's up, caller? What's up, Jack? What's up, man? Hey, have you done any uh, research on the Olympics this year in regards to the coronavirus at all? Well, they they said they're considering canceling it. That's what I heard. So, like canceling the entire Olympics, or like that was a story like a month ago. Around. Yeah, it was like a month ago. They said that they're considering canceling it. Wow. Okay. Yep. I just because I just saw that in the headline a couple hours ago. That's why. I had to. Yeah. So they, they that was a headline about a month ago. We talked about it. How they're considering canceling the Olympics. So. Well, I missed I missed that completely. Yeah. That, that's pretty crazy. That's all I that's all I wanted to say though, Zach. Because I, I didn't catch that headline at all. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Pretty, pretty crazy. All right, man. I saw that. All right. Take care, man. See. You. Okay. But anyway, freetofindtruth.com, that is the social media website for truth seekers. Again, share as much information as you're comfortable with sharing. Some people are putting out their real name, their real town. Some people are going by an alias. You can do what you're comfortable with. But realize, I mean, if you do share a little bit more information, like what city you live in, that'll make it easier for people to find you who are actually interested in networking. And for all the people who are like, well, I'm worried that maybe there's like some, because uh, again, the one risk I would say, and this is true anywhere, I mean, there could be somebody who goes on there that has like some devious intentions. It's possible, but you can't let fear rule you. I mean, there's bad people in the world, but uh, not all people are bad. What's up, color? Hello? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, not much, Zach. Are you still on the live stream? I am. Hey, uh, listen, I, I got uh, an aunt that just passed, and uh, her number's uh, actually line up with some of Kobe's numbers and uh, and her her daughter my, my cousin just had a baby by uh, C-section on the 41st day of the year and they named her Laker huh. that is and, weird yeah and her numbers on her name her name is Kathy Jean Rutledge that died her numbers is 179, which is the 41st prime. She died on the 353rd day of the year, which is December 19th, 2019. And uh, the second number of her name is 71. And then her other number is 20, uh, 280 and 91. And 91 is the 13th triangular. And then in Jewish Sumatria, her, her, her name is 1579, which is the 249th prime. 
and she died 249 days from her next birthday. Okay, interesting, yeah. And, and also she died on her 118th day of her age, which is, in Jewish gematria, is death. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. And she has the same birthday as Kobe Bryant. Huh. And she was born in 54. Huh. And she died at 65 years old, which is, I heard you say, it's pandemic. So I thought that might relate. Sure. Well, was your grandmother affiliated with Masonry or in the L.A. area? or? or? Um, her daughter, the one that had the baby on the 41st day of the year, is married to a guy named uh, Will Searing, which is a VP of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay, so there is a basketball relationship. Well, that's really interesting then, huh? Yeah, that's something else. It is. All right. Crazy. I didn't know if you saw anything else in it. Or... Um, I want to say that um, Oklahoma City, I got to check this real quick. Since you brought that up, I feel like Oklahoma City has a... Yeah, it does. Oklahoma City equals 65. Oh, wow. Yeah, so maybe there is something sinister going on there. That's creepy. It is creepy. All right. All right, appreciate it, man. Okay, man. Thanks for right. talking. See you. All right, take care. And um, here, I'll, just since he brought up that story, so I used to date a girl, and um, she was adopted, and her parents were divorced, and they are connected to the Detroit Pistons ownership. And when I went back to visit her family years ago in Detroit, they had all the rings for the the men's team and the women's team, and. Um, the father and his brother who, who helped run that uh, organization, they took me aside and they said, L Lindsay was her name, they said, you know, Lindsay's never been doing better in her life. She's doing great with you and um, we'd love to see you marry her because, you know, we're just really, we're really happy with how things are going with Lindsay right now. And if you become a part of this family, you'll be taken care of. And I was thinking, hmm, well, I mean, they did have money. And, um, but the problem was Lindsay was, I mean, she was good, but she, she was a woman that had a crazy side and obviously we're not together anymore because of that. But anyway, I didn't, I wasn't aware of Jamatra and all this stuff back then, but what I thought was weird is her mother who was divorced from her father. And again, they were her adoptive parents. Her mother in the, just in the time I was with Lindsay, which was, um, not quite five years, but, um, in the time we were together, her mother three of the men she was dating had died and Lindsay called her the black widow and now i just think back about that because i'm like yeah these were powerful people and they were connected to, they were like part of this system and yeah is it just a coincidence that all the men she was dating were dying and it's so now i just look back at this and i'm like god probably one of the best decisions i ever made was not to become a part of that family but um just that caller just saying that about how he's got some family and they're connected to the oklahoma city and then what he just said it just it reminds me of that so again it's like you don't want to be a part of these wealthy rich crazy families honestly i mean seems to be nothing but madness and evil all right let's take one more call and we'll wrap it up what's up caller hey zach i'm sorry uh, I, I i didn't even realize you're on a uh, patreon i'm a patreon member i'm sorry I, I, I was just wondering if you guys touched that that golden state warriors game today I'm not on Patreon right now, man. I'm doing a live stream on coronavirus. Oh, sorry, brother. I'll talk to you later. All right, see you, man. All right. So we'll leave it there, and um, we'll call it a day. Till next time.